Uh, looks like it's finally time. Hello everyone! This is what we gonna who here. And welcome to the LP over five years in the making. Blinks the Time Sweeper. Oh yeah, I'm finally doing Blinks 1. Like I said, it took me about over five years, but I'm finally doing it. I'm finally doing it. For LP number 30, because Whatever I... Because now it is... Yeah! Like, this is my Hurt Chief Let's Play, so once again we should be doing something special. And of course it's the original Blinks. I'll get into more information later, but for now we got opening cutscene to watch, so... Let's watch that, shall we? リスタンティクニシェルネンスタッフ。ヘムニザムラスタキス。ヘムスタックオジェンズドゥマティス。ニクエルジラムファクタムノリスタン。マブシクナリスタンブレイブマナエピウォータ。My game brings Sabrim Nafis Lankis, Verzam Brutnis, Listam Overwam B. Verwam is Listam, Nidas Kras Nublink, Hengas Zo, Shulastok. Masigna Listam, Verif Mana Evi Vodak. Oh boy, and oh, and we shall start off with level one. World one, man one, time streak begins to defeat all the time monsters. So yeah, wasn't that a start? Oof. And yes, yeah, was in, in the toy mode, of course. So, right about you probably notice that the characters are not really speaking English compared to the second game. Yeah, in the first game. The cows, the sweepers and that speak in that own weird alien language. I just think it's 
some form of Japanese but I could be wrong. In the second game they just spoke in English so I don't know why they decided to change that but yeah. So different and here in the first game they they're signed for things that look different, looks more smaller, cutesy yeah, more chibi like for in the second game they name more aggressive and Q. Honestly the ever negative fur blinks gang of fur they combine the two designs. Oh, there's a cat metal there! I won at one. And I don't have a weak one to undo the damage. Oh, I'll do it later. But yeah, here's the Fae First Blinks game, where you actually play as Blinks. Yeah, compared to setting game, for where as long as you had to create your own character. So the only way to play as Blinks in the setting game was to make your own character look like Blinks himself. But yeah, just like, like in the sequel you can get your own time controls however in order to get them acts a bit differently and here's a 16 times weight our sweepers not strong enough to suck out we need a stronger sweeper so yeah just like in the sequel we're gonna need to upgrade our sweeper throughout the game which is nothing new thankfully we got no tutorial still at least not the amount that wasn't blinks too, just jump straight in the game. Sucking up trash, shooting trash. Oh, I missed you, blinks. I really need to have. So, yeah. So, yeah, unfortunately, blinks does go a bit slower than he does in the sequel, so that's not good. Also, there's unfortunately no lock on system in the first game. So you actually, I don't know, actually have to aim. Thankfully, I think there's a bit of auto aim in this game. I feel like there's an auto aim, so that, there is that. So yeah, but still, there's no lock on the system, unfortunately. So you have to actually aim. Which hey, that's what all those hours went to platoon were for. Honestly, going from platoon two to Blink Swan was quite the <laughs> Weird transition, honestly. Uh, it's like I'm going full circle. Well, here's the salt screen. Shows how long it took to beat the game. It gives you a rank, actually. Honestly, the ranks don't we mean Jack Dilly dips. Except for one small thing, which I'll show off at the end of the LP. So you might not want to talk about, but anyways. The salt screen also shows how many cat mouse we got. Yes, of course, cat mouse on the first game, because why wouldn't it be? And yeah. Anyways, here's a stage select menu. And here's shop. Hosted by well hosted. With a shopkeeper, Catherine. Yeah, whenever I have from the first game, we only saw saw glimpses of her in the in the sequel. Like we only saw her in the Blinks 2 credits and that picture for doing all the really frustrating hard difficult I'm not gonna go in there, but yeah. She is, she is the subcuber of Blinks 1. I personally like her more than Jimmy. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't really buy this new sweeper they got. That I don't have money to buy for anything, so we're gonna come back here once we get enough gold. I'm not sure I was, I'm not sure I was buying anyway, probably the new sweeper, but unfortunately, oh, yeah, at least only have 25 gold. And also, here's a. Uh, Cat medals, or well, none then. Oh, I'll get more in the game as we go through the game. You press the X button to see cat medals, so there you go. So, yeah, let's head off to level 2. As an usual, I will be getting all the cat medals in this game. I mean, why wouldn't I? I will unlock the ultimate sweeper in this game. Oh, I just borrowed a surprise. Oh, well. And yeah. Now. If Blinks 2 was a really easy game to go through, then Blinks 1 is pretty much the complete opposite. Because this game, at least you're not really familiar with 3D platformers, this game is tough. It's really, really tough. I mean, it doesn't suck now, but once we get to at least, I mean, course and rounds, we're just going to throw in this world because I blame Mario, but yeah, as soon as you get to the fourth world, that's when things start to get really difficult. But for now, we're still 
Hey, you see now? Because, well, duh, this is the first world, so yeah. So, with, with Blinks 2, there were five worlds. Well, five. Five of the time sweepers, five for the Tom Toms, with two extras and. Ah, oh, complicated, but yeah. Basically, this game has eight worlds to do, with three levels and a boss in each of them, with a ninth final boss at the end. So basically, Blinks 1's level structure acts. We much identical to the likes of 2D Mario games. I'm not sure that was intentional or not. But yeah. Now, talking about the time controls. In Blinks 2, it didn't matter in what order you picked them up, really. As long as you pick up where the time is, you'll just get where you want. What am I talking about? Well. In this game, if you want to get a specific time control, you need to get three or more of that specific time crystal in order to get time control. And also, here we found a bunch of gold. Well, will we get all of it? When that, we need to get this Tom Tom out of the way. Which, no, we can't play as in this game. It's the first game, yeah, and we haven't fought that yet. Ugh. Gee, thank you. It's not like I. Ugh. So, yeah. So, unfortunately, if you want to get a time control, you need to get three or more of the same crystal. Otherwise, you just get a random bunch of crystals like you did in a certain game. It won't count. You won't get anything, which I think is a terrible design decision. And thank God it fixed it in the sequel. And unlike for each time control to have its own little containers, like, you know, two pauses, two we want. Wines to of course that sort of stuff. In this game, well at least when you start, you you can only have up to three time controls for all of them. Yeah, you, I can only have three time controls. Doesn't matter if it's three pauses or three slows. No, it's gotta be up to three. Let's say I have three pauses. I want to get an extra rewind. Then I'm gonna get one rewind. But because I can only take out three, that was three. One of those pauses are gonna go, so go. So I got two pauses instead. So, so yeah, that's another stupid design choice. But thankfully, there are ways to expand my time control slots. So I'm thankful for that anyway. And Blinks One, instead of just simply getting to end the and doing a certain objective. What we'll be doing in all of those is basically taking out all the time monsters in the level and getting to the end. That's our objective. Still pretty simple. Not very hard to do. These time monsters right now are not that hard to take out. Although, of course, they will get more annoying as time goes on. There you go, that's level 2 done. It only took me about four minutes. D plus, whatever. So yeah, I don't know what the lowest rank is, but I know it goes at least somewhere from rank D up to S plus. Just like Splatoon all over again. But yeah, whatever. Here are my first two cat medals. Mostly there's no counter there. Or well, Nado is. I don't know. If there's a counter, you, you probably see it away. If not, then... I'm sorry that I not iron the counter. I tried iron the counter 4 and I somehow lost a project file for this LP so I had to re do it edit all, so yeah. So yeah, time holders, this is what I was talking about. I can only hold to 3 time controls at a time. So I'm definitely buying one of these, so now I have 4 time controls. I'm, I can hold up to 4 time controls, yeah that's what I was saying. Unfortunately you can only buy one per shop. What I mean by that? Well... Instead of just being one universal shop in the game, like it was in the second game, in the first game, there's just there's one shop for each world, each one selling different stuff. So yeah, so yeah, I got a time order. I can now hold up to four time controls, which is still ain't good, but hey, it's getting somewhere. And now also we try horse, which basically do the same thing for your we tries, as you know with links two, which is on the top left. So yeah, we can actually 
give ourselves more weed drives, which are basically lives in this game. If we ever get hit once, we'll lose one of our weed, weed tries. Time we rewind and we'll get a second chance. You've seen clearly the bike brings two OP, you know how this works. So as of right now we only got we're going, we can only take up to three hits, so yeah. Mm. Now it was online looking anywhere, so, so I can see if I find any medals. Not yet though. Unfortunately I think I can only get one. Yeah, I can only get one in this level because the other two I believe are hidden by 16 times which you can only suck up with what they call a level 3 sweeper. Which I think you know what that means. Also I don't really look lucky that I can only suck up to 5 pieces of trash but Hangi you are able to expand your ammunition once we get to a certain world. Unfortunately it's only one and so unfortunately the maximum amount you can carry up to is 10. There's no extra expansion pack for ammunition so it can't so unfortunately you can suck up to 15 first. The limit is 10. But again that's what we've got. The expansion pack right now we're limited to 5. Which makes me I have to be very careful with my trash first. Can I get all the monsters are taken out already? Pretty quickly? So yeah. Well, it's about the time I did this first game. I mean, five years, jeez. Uh, I know I say Blinks 2 isn't my first let's play. Again, I, I did already do a whole bunch of LPs before Blinks 2. The reason why it says Blinks 2 is my first let's play because I basically, back in 2013, I decided to basically restart my channel, start fresh and new. So I don't know, have a have my own own history of the channel look better. I don't know. Also, look at that. I think wish I didn't do that. Wish I preserved my videos, but hey, what can you do? Well, yeah. This will don't be a fun let's play to do, that's for sure. And, uh, oh, never mind, I found some gold. <laughs> best to get those gold. Yeah, best to get the m m most gold you can, as stuff in this game is kind of expensive. Kind of, so make sure you get a lot of gold. And yeah, like I said, this game is much harder than a sequel, so prepare to see me die a lot, that's for sure. <laughs> prepare to screw around a lot. But yeah, of course this will be 100% playthrough of the game. I will show everything, yes, you know, one tidbit for that one person I'm talking to. Or two. Yeah, now I'm just messing around because I'm just looking anywhere, my ex one says kicking in. And yeah, another 16 ton weight which I can't suck up, so yeah. As soon as you get the strongest sleeper we can afford, which is that of free sweeper. We unfortunately unfortunately got to do some backtracking which is no fun, but hey. And there you go, that's the third level done. Let's see you've done four minutes. And yeah. Uh yeah. probably you're not gonna see any any um unlockables on the mouse yet. Glad to wait a bit on that. But yeah. Now we got the boss to deal with and Times Square will be done. But first I'll only go back to the shop to get myself a why is a we try holder cost a thousand gold? Ugh. I know, yeah, that blue star sweeper. Yeah, like I said, the stuff in this game is really expensive compared to the second game, that's for sure. And... I think if you notice, there was a wet set there. Yeah, there's clothing in this game too. You can sort of customize blinks to his stand, uh, There are like costumes that you can put blinks in. Unfortunately, the costumes are way too expensive. 
Cousins you get for blinks are way too expensive to buy for, so I really I don't recommend buying the Cousins at all unless you really feel like it, yes. I don't know why any Cousins are that expensive. I know they don't do anything, they're purely cosmetic, so go with Cousins you want, I'm not stopping you. And just as I was talking over that, a way to be the first boss. Yeah, so yeah, that was the first boss. All you gotta do is just keep shooting him when he stops bouncing around. And then you don't get hit by him. Pretty simple. I actually got kind of stuck at the first boss when I did first play this game, because, well, simply the game didn't tell me what to do. But, oh well, now it's pretty simple as you just shoot at him. Wait, there you go. First boss done. And, play your scene away, once you kill a boss, a boss, you um, immediately spawn in a whole bunch of gold for you to get. Unfortunately, you won't be there for a long while. After a while, it will disappear, but thankfully, they can just do some rewind to get them back, because, you know, time travel and that. Well, you'll use a pause to keep them there for a while. Slow works well, but yeah. That's it for round one. Next time, let's play Blinks the Time Sweeper, which we're doing World 2, Deja Vu Canals. So, Smorgan Who, and I'll see you next time. Late, people.